Oh, luckily enough, I was to receive an invite to come here. Um, but I guess really to have a voice from my own end, um, being a, a doctor and a scientist, I feel that a lot of doctors and scientists don't have that sort of voice. Um, and especially someone who's struggled from the academic end to, to reach through the point of startup, um, I, I think that voice is underrepresented, and that's why I wanted to come here and, and represent that voice. Yeah, so uh, collaboration is not only important, it is crucial and essential and uh, it won't happen without collaboration. So uh, in my organisation that I'm one of the directors of, we actually wrote CoLab into the name, it's called Spark CoLab. So the lab bit is the science bit and the CoLab is to, uh, to show that collaboration is necessary. Um, so uh, we run a program um, that's called the, the design program in Spark CoLab where we get um, business people, engineers and doctors and they go into the hospital setting, they find problems um, and they need find and then we uh, teach them how to understand the need, uh, develop strategy around that need to then develop concepts and then once they've got a lead concept that matches the need then they, they develop a startup strategy to get it to market. So collaboration is really important in that setting because uh, the doctors are, uh, are stuck in dogma. They, they turn up to work, they do things, and they go home. But it's the engineers and the business people that actually come up with the problem-solving areas in there. So uh, the way that I like to explain that collaboration really well is that uh, doctors uh, do know what you can and can't do to a patient. They know what's going to hurt them. The engineers don't necessarily know that, but they do know the laws of physics, which some, sometimes doctors like to break. But neither of those two need, know, know how to turn it into a business model. So those three sort of areas, just in that little one example, is just shows how they're all necessary to get through to the end. I think one of the good things is that we're talking about it. One of the bad things is that we're still talking about it. So, uh, you know, I think uh, part of it is uh, the, uh, the, the lots of talk that's created, but I guess the good thing in the, is the table uh, discussions that we're having, that it's, that's creating action items. And hopefully the government looks at that and says, hey, these are actual real things that we can do to make it happen. I think the, I don't uh, want to talk down the government's role. They're, it's very difficult for them to see um, what they can and can't do and they kind of rely on that sort of, um, that sort of vision. But creating um, real action points that people can act on and do um, with limited funding uh, in our own lean startup sort of mode um, is one of the most exciting things that will come from today, I hope. Me coming back uh, to Perth, I'd lived in uh, the Silicon Valley area for three years, I've been back here for, uh, for a year. One thing I've, I really struggled with with coming here was uh, the silo mentality, people operating separately and, and doing their own thing. And I think the Innovation Summit at the very core is bringing people together and forcing people to collaborate around the tables or their, their different areas. So I think at the very start it's, it's openly projecting the collaborative nature that we do need to work together on this, that everyone in the room may have se separate goals but we also have very similar goals. So where we can uh, align our similar goals um, then we need to work together to do that and I think that's what this Innovation Summit is creating. Uh, when I was in uh, uh, Silicon Valley I think uh, I think it, they would really have a summit about it because I, I think people are already doing it. So I think they're more uh, practical on the ground problem solving. They'll identify what the problems are in the area and then go out and work out a solution for that. Um, and I think part of the problem in, in uh, Perth is lack of collaboration and communication between key stakeholders. So this is one of the solutions to that. So uh, I think it's, it's maybe the Innovation Summit might not happen in Silicon Valley because it doesn't need to happen. It already is happening. So this is, the first, I guess, one of the steps along that journey.